END here. Therefore, for the spoilers of Icoria, Lair of Behemoths. Today, the majority of the spoilers will be related to Commander 2020. Icoria will have Commander 2020, five pre-constructed decks. Let's see the cards that have been spoiled today. Thieving Otter, two and one blue, it's a two, two. It's an Otter. Whenever this damage to an opponent, you draw a card. Bastion of Remembrance, two and one black, it's an enchantment. Whenever enters, it enters the battlefield, you create a 1-1 white human soldier token. Whenever a creature controls dies, each opponent loses one life and you gain one life. As you can see, now we'll begin the Commander 2020 spoilers. Path of Ancestry, this is a common card, it's a land, enters the battlefield tapped, you add one mana of any tap, add one mana of any color in your commander's color, color identity. When that mana is spent to cast a creature spell, that shares a creature type with your commander, you scry one. Bonders blazing, three, artifact tap, you add one mana of any color, four, you tap each player who controls a card named Bonders blazing draws a card. Predatory impetus, four and one green, it's an enchantment aura, enchant creature, enchant creature gets plus three plus three, must be blocked if able and is goaded. Parasitic Impetus 2 and 1 black, it's an enchantment aura. Enchanted creature gets plus 2 plus 2 and this goaded. Whenever enchanted creature is attacked, its controller loses 2 life and you gain 2 life. Psychic Impetus 2 and 1 blue. Enchanted creature gets plus 2 plus 2 and this goaded. Whenever enchanted creature attacks, you scry 2. Martial Impetus 2 and 1 white. Enchanted creature gets plus 1 plus 1 and this goaded. Whenever enchanted creatures attacks, each other opponent that's attacking one of your opponents gets plus one plus one until end of turn. Heavenly Way, it's a 3-3 three, three, for 4 and 2 blue. It has delve, it has flying. Whenever Heavenly Whale attacks, you may put an instant or sorcery exile by Heavenly Way into your hand. Silent Arbiter, 4, it's a 1-5. No more than one creature can attack each combat, no more than one creature can block each combat. Obscuring Haze, two and one green, it's an instant. If you control a commander, you may cast this spell without paying its mana cost. Remember, any card that can be played without paying its mana cost, it's always a very strong card. Prevent all damage that will be dealt this turn by creatures your opponents control. Revenue's Gigantarium, five and two green, it's a three three, it has Devour, three, when it enters the battlefield, it deals X damage divided as you choose among up to X target creatures where X is its power. Each of those creatures deals damage equal to its power to Ravenous Gigantarium. Mask Admires, 2 and 2 green, it's a 3 2. Elf Shaman. When it enters the battlefield, you draw a card. Whenever you cast a creature spell, you may pay 2 to green. If you do, return Mask Admires from your graveyard to your hand. Deadly Tempest. 4 and 2 black, it's a sorcery, destroy all creatures, each player loses life equal to the number of creatures they control that were destroyed this way. Manascape Refractor, 3, artifact, enters the battlefield tab, it has all activated abilities of all lands on the battlefield, you may spend mana as though it were mana of any color to pay its activation cost for its abilities. Decoy Gambit, 2 and 1 blue, it's an instant for each opponent, choose up to one target creature that players control, then return that creature to its owner's hands, unless its controller has you draw a card. Nescient Metaphor, 1 and 1 blue, it's a 1-1 one, one shapeshifter, whenever it, whenever it attacks or blocks target opponents, reveal cards from top of their library until they reveal a creature card. It becomes a copy of that card until end of turn. Then that player puts all cards revealed this way in the bottom of their library in any order. In Flock Licker, 2 and 2 blue, it's a 5 5 elemental otter. It has flying, enters the battlefield if you cast it. Target opponent takes an extra turn after this one until your next turn, you and Planeswalkers you control gain protection from that player. This is a very, very interesting card. Daring Fen Bonder, 3 and 1 black, it's a 5 1, it's at haste. Attach each combat available for one and one black. Exile it from your graveyard. Put an indestructible counter on target creature. Activate this ability only any time you could cast a sorcery. Species specialist, two and two black. It's a two three. It enters the battlefield. You choose a creature type. Whenever a creature of the chosen type dies, you may draw a card. 
deflecting SWAT, two and one red. If you control a commander, you may cast this spell without paying its mana cost. You may choose new targets for target spell or ability. Villainous Welt, X, one black, one green, and one blue. It's a sorcery. Target player exiles the top X cards of their library. You may cast any number of spells with converted mana cost X or less from among them without paying their mana cost. Verge Rangers, two and one white. It's a 3-3. First strike, you may look at the top card of your library anytime. As long as an opponent controls more lands than you, you may play lands from the top of your library. That Litric, 3 and 1 black. It's an instant. If you control a commander, you may cast this spell without paying its mana cost. Exile target creature. This is a very strong card in commander. I'm sure about it. For nothing, you can exile a target creature. Remove a creature. Titan Hunter, 4 and 1 black, it's a 4 5 at the beginning of each player's end step. If no creature has died this turn, Beast Hunter did 4 damage to that player. For 1 and 1 black, sacrifice a creature you gain for life. Spellfire Phoenix, 3 and 2 red, it's a 4 2, it's a Phoenix flying. When it enters the battlefield, you may return an instant or sorcery card with a cycling ability from your graveyard to your hand. At the beginning of each end step, if you've cycled at least 2 cards this turn, return Spell Phoenix from your graveyard to your hand. Agitator and 2 and 1 red, it's a 2-2, two, two, insect. At the beginning of your end step, each player may put 2 plus 1 plus 1 counters on a creature they control. Gout each creature that had counters, put it on the, this way. Glade Muse, 2 and 1 green, it's a 2-4 beast. Whenever a creature casts a spell, if it's not their turn, that players draw a card. Tidal Barracuda, 3 and 1 blue, it's a 3-4, it's a fish. Any player may cast spells as though they had flesh. During your turn, your opponent can cast spells. Call the Copper Coats, 2 and 1 white. It's an instant, it has strife. The spell cost one, cost 1 and 1 white, more to cast for each target beyond the first. Choose any number of target opponents. Create X, 1-1 one, one white human soldier creature tokens, where X is the number of creatures those opponents control. Lava Brink Adventure, 2 and 1 white, it's a 3-3 three, three, three. human soldier. As it enters the battlefield, you choose odds or even. It has protection from the converted mana cost of the chosen value. And remember, 0 is even. Cartographers, Hawk, 1 and 1 white, it's a 2-1, it's a bird. Flying, when, when it is combat damage to a player who controls more lands than you, return it to its owner's hand. If you do, you may search your library for a planes card, put it on the battlefield tab, then shuffle your library. Capricorn, X and 1 green, it's a 0, 0, it's a Goat Hydra, enters in the battlefield with X plus 1 plus 1 counters on it, for 2 you put a plus 1 plus 1 counter on Capricorn, change which player Capricorn is attacking, only a player that is being attacked by Capricorn may activate this ability. Selective Adaptation, 4 and 2 green, Sorcery, reveal the top 7 cards of your library, choose from among them a card with flying card with first strike, and so on for double strike, death touch, haste, hexproof, indestructible, lifelink, menace, reach, trample, and vigilance, put one of the chosen cards on the battlefield, the other chosen cards in your hand, and the rest into your graveyard. Sotask Demolisher, 4 and 2 green, it's a 6-6, six, six, a beast, mutate 3 and 1 green, has trample, whenever this creature mutates, destroy target non-creature permanent, that controllers create a 3-3 three, three green beast creature token. Now. We are in the mythic, two reprints of Planeswalkers, first is Jace, Architect of Thought, and the other is Nahiri, the Heartbringer. These two Planeswalkers, these are reprints. Xeris, the Ritting Storm, for two, one green, one blue and one black, it's a 3-5, it's a snake levitin, it's a legendary creature, has flying, whenever an opponent draws a card except the first one they draw, in each of their draw steps create a 1-1 one, one green snake creature token. Whenever Xeris deals combat damage to a player, you and that player each draw that many cards. Akim, the Soaring Wind, 2, 1 blue, 1 red, and 1 white, it's a 3 4, Dinosaur Bird, flying. Whenever you create one or more creature tokens for the first time each turn, create a 1 1 white bird creature token with flying. 3, 1 blue, 1 red, and 1 white creature tokens you control gain double strike until end of turn. Now we have the partners. Yesterday I showed you the Sky, the, sh the Shark Rider, the Sky Shark Rider. Today we have Kazur, Rootless Talker. Three and one green, it's a 3-3 three, three human warrior. It partners with 
o key must talking shadow. Whenever a creature controls this compact damage to a player, put a plus one plus one counter on that creature. And here's his Okima Stalking Shadow for one, one blue and one black. It's a 2-2, two -two. it's a werewolf. Partners, obviously, with Kazur. It can be blocked. When it leaves the battlefield, it deals X damage to target player and you gain a cli X life where X is its power. Haldan Avid Arcanist, two and one blue, it's a 1-4. One also, it's a partner. Partners with Peiko, Arcane Retriever. You may play non-creature cards from exile with fetch counters on them if you exile them and you may spend mana as though it's well mana of any color to cast those spells and here's Peiko, Peiko Arcane Retriever, 3, 1 red and 1 green, it's a 3-3, three, three. partners with Haldan, haste, when it attacks exile the top cards of each player's library and put a fetch counter on each of them, put a plus one plus one counter on Peiko for each non-creature card exile this way. And the last pair, it's Trin, Champion of Freedom, 3 and 1 white, it's a 3-3, three, three, partners with Silver, Devourer of Free. At the beginning of your end step, if you attack this turn, create a 1-1 one, one white human soldier creature token. Silver, Devourer of Free, here it is, 3 and 1 black and 1 red, it's a 4-2, Cat Nightmare, partners with Trin, Menace, sacrifice a human, put a plus 1 plus 1 counter on Silver, the War of Free, it gains indestructible until end of turn. And then this we have the last one, it's Nikara, Lair, Scavenger, 2 and 1 black, it's a 2-2. Two, two. Human Cleric, partners with Yannick, it has menace. Whenever another creature you control leaves battlefield, if it had one or more counters on it, you draw a card and you lose one life. And here's Yannick, Scavenger, Sentinel, 2 and 1 green and 1 white, it's a 3-3. Three, three. Hyena Beast, partners with Nikara, Vigilance. When it enters the battlefield, exile another non another creature you control with until Yannick leaves the battlefield. When you do, distribute X plus one plus one counters among any numbers of target creature where X is the exile creature's power. These are the spoilers for today, day four for Icoria Lair of Behemoths. Majority of these spoilers were Commander 2020. Tomorrow, day five, we will continue with the Icoria main set. Follow the arrow, subscribe to my channel for more and more spoilers about Icoria and any news about Magic the Gathering and the collectible world.